Hey guys, hey, it's Nikayla of the Side Hustle Pro Podcast, and I'm going to give you a quick tutorial of how you do a Canva vision board. So I'm going to recreate this vision board that's on my laptop screensaver. So first things first, go over to canva.com and then select create a design. This is the home page. You'll go over to the right hand corner and select the create a design button. Then you're going to type in desktop and then it will start all auto filling most likely, but you're going to pull up the desktop wallpaper template. We're just using the blank template because we are going to create the images for our vision board. So then in this left hand side of the screen, click the upload button, then go over to the upload media purple button and upload all the images and files that you want to use for your vision board. I've already done this. So I'm going to go ahead and start dropping them in. I just select the images to drop them in that I want to use. Um, some people, sometimes when you drag and drop in Canva, it will start to autofill the whole screen. So you don't want to do that. So the great thing about dragging and dropping with Canva. Okay. So when you have an image selected, you can use the corners of the image. So a border will come up where you can use the edit functions. So this line function you can use to crop. You can always undo anything you do with this undo button up here on the um, the top bar. So you can use the corner circle icon to reduce the size or increase the size of the image. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna drag this all really quickly for you guys because this is just a demonstration. So this is how I did it. And then um, I also played around with the shape. So you can use the two arrows on the bottom here to change around um, how you want the image to be angled. So you can give it that look and feel like a real scrapbook, you know, like how we used to do when we used to actually just uh, keep our vision board, make our, uh, our vision board physical. You know what I mean? So another thing you can do is you can layer the images on top of each other. So let's say I want to add in this image of this woman with the money. All right. So I can let's say I had it over here and she's on top of the Im those images. What I can do is when I have this image highlighting, I can select the position button and move it backward so that this image is now in the back of the others. You get what I mean? Like if you want things to just easily drag and drop without having to always resize everything, you just choose what you want on top and then boom, here you have it. So same thing here, I want that on top. I wanna add in my healthy meals that I'm gonna be having in 2022 on top. I wanna shrink this down using the corner. I wanna crop it using the line. Then I wanna add in this open for business. Let's say you wanna open, launch your new side hustle in 2022. You can use something like that to represent it. You can shrink it down. I like how it's dropping her on top because I do want that to be the on top layer. Here, I want to crop this down a little bit more. So I'm moving that down and then I want to add in, let's say a few more pictures to round out the very bottom here. And I'm still feeling like my girl over here is not getting her shine. So I'm going to shrink these two down just a little bit more. And then finally, let's add in one more meal. Why not? Let's just make it, you know, a little bit more eclectic and visual. And then finally, of course, we're gonna do more podcasting. If you wanna launch your podcast, you know you can see me about that as well. So boom, we have all our pictures, you guys. Next thing, you wanna probably add some text, right? So before you add the text, you're gonna go over again to this left-hand bar and click on the elements. And I recently used some of those, but let me show you how I got them. So if you want a rectangle, for example, you type in rectangle, you click on that uh, button, um, and then it's going to pull up a random color. It's just going to select a color from the current images you're using. So what you can do, shrink it down to the size you want, go up here to the icon with the color and then select the color you want. So I want to make this black. Then the next thing you're going to do is go back to the left hand bar, click on text, select add a heading then use the functionality right here, this button that's like a cross um, basically to put it where you want. And again, it also helps you to center with those purple lines. And then I'm gonna go back to um, up to the top of the screen where it says a font. I'm gonna change the font. I already recently used this font, but you can scroll through and see which font you like. I'm really feeling this Benedict font and I'm going to change the color so I can actually see it. I'm gonna use white and let's say I wanna put health and wellness, boom. And then 
I'm going to highlight the text and use these arrows to uh, change the size of the font. You could also just select the number and then quickly, you know, click on a number, but sometimes you're not exactly sure. So you just go a little bit more manually. So let's do one more element for now. So I am going to select paper. And that's where I got this really cool and funky um, icon here. I just, again, use the corners to shrink it down. And right here, I would like to add some text to that. So I'm gonna go back to the left side of the screen, select text, select add a heading, use this cross icon to move it like so. And then I'm going to highlight it, change the font to Benedict again. And I'm going to type in eat great feel great i'm going to make this two lines so i just selected return to make that two lines and i want to see this a little bit more so i'm going to make that white and again play around with the size move it using the cross to move it back centered and there you have it you guys this is how you add in your photos this is how you add in different um text and um elements and again you can change the photos to be whatever position you want so once you're done with that select download download it as a png and then once it's downloaded in order to get it onto your desktop you simply go to desktop go to change desktop background excuse me you right click on desktop select change desktop background and then you are going to pull up the one you just did i like to keep it as stretch to fill screen but you have different options here as well and boom there you have it